Hello, today I'm here to show you how to sketch um, this urban scene. Um, I particularly like this because of this beautiful Bogen villa that is um, growing on top of this wall and the lovely shadows as well. So I'm going to do an initial sketch with my pencil which I will later then add watercolour to and then pen if necessary. So I'm going to start off with the um, initial sketch so starting off with this street here at the bottom that's the wall it's a very quick sketch and I'm not really worried about any straight lines just trying to keep the whole perspective right I'm avoiding the two people who are standing there in the picture and then going to make a quick mark for the plant. There's a vase or a pot there. There's one that's behind, which I can only see a little bit of. The top of the doorway is kind of a semicircle shape being a little bit careful here because if you look at the picture you can see how there is a brighter area here which is the highlighted area so I'm going to make that mark so I know where that is I can leave that white when I do watercolors And the same for this bit as well. We've got a plant, a cactus that's sticking out here. So just going to draw that line because I can see a little bit of highlights on the cactus. So I'm going to just make a mark there so I know where the cactus is. other stem of the cactus is just about here so I'm just going to make it's quite tall it's coming all the way up there I can see a little bit um, of the top of the wall here but everything else is really just the foliage it's quite dark so I'm just going to make that mark so I know when I start painting that's going to be dark it is quite dark here as well because the whole thing is in the shadow so if you look at the bottom you can see, you can clearly see the shadow. So I'm just going to quickly make a rough mark so I know where the shadows are. That's, that should be enough. Very light mark so I know where they are. So our initial sketch is done and we're going to start painting it. For painting, the brush that I'm going to use is a size 12. It's a round pointed brush. Probably the, that's the only thing I might need. I might go down a size if I think it's too big or even go down to a smaller rigger brush or a pointed uh, tip brush um, for finer details. So for the Bougainvillea I'm going to use um, two colours. Permanent Rose which is bright pink rose colour and I'm also going to use a little bit of mauve. So if you don't have mauve, you can always mix um, a little bit of blue with your rose and you get mauve. 
gives an extra depth to your rose. So I'm going to try and find a green that um, goes well with the mauve and because it's such a bright colour I'm going to tone down the green a little bit. Try a little bit of cadmium yellow, a tiny bit of red to tone it down, make it slightly bit more warmer. Ultramarine blue. So let's start off. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to let's wet the paper first. And while I'm wetting the paper, I'm going to try and avoid the cactus. And also trying to avoid this area where I can see the doorway. For the sky, I'm going to use cobalt blue. And you can even splatter if you like. Gently begin to drop in the pigment. Because the um, surface is wet, it's going to spread out. Just being really careful not to overwork here. I need to leave that little highlight there. So now beginning with some mauve. Now, without much water on the brush, I'm going to move on to some mauve and begin to apply mauve into the darker areas. I don't need a lot of water just to activate the paint and then I can add these larger areas of mauve. Wash my brush clean, take out excess water and then let's do some green now. So now quickly, before this dries, I'm going to wash my brush. I need to add some shadows on this side. The whole of this area is under shadow. So if you squint your eyes, you can see this is the brightest part. So everywhere else is going to be slightly more deeper, darker. So I'm going to quickly add a wash And for the shadow, I'm going to add ultramarine blue, tiny bit of crimson red to make it a little bit more purpley or deep blue. And then doing a quick wash. So now we have the basic um, shadow colors placed. Now we can add a little bit more extra pigment to it, make things a little bit more darker, bring in more value to it. So let's start with this area, which is really dark. So ultramarine blue, a little bit of crimson red, and maybe add a tiny bit of orange. We're going to do um, some green and a mixture of this color for here. So I'll start off with the shadow colour. Putting in some green there.
So we've got the um, first wash down. So I'm going to wait for this layer to dry before I do anything more. So the first layer is completely dry and now I'm going to start adding a little bit more extra shadows, um, a little bit more details and I'm going to use watercolours. So let's start doing the second layer. So I've actually swapped my brush to a much thinner one. This is, um, um, it's got a finer tip because it's an angular brush and um, I particularly like it because I like the fine lines that this could make. Uh, you do not need to have the same type of brush, you can always use a rigger brush or any fine tip uh, brushes that you prefer, or you can go into using some pen as well. Um, that's the wall there, I'm just going to make that a bit more deeper. Maybe it needs a little bit more darker area here for the shadows of the foliage. So the shadow colour that I have been using is a mixture of permanent red and ultramarine blue. Now using my ultramarine blue and a mixture of permanent red, um, I'm going to add a little bit more value to the pots here. So starting off with a quick, a quick layer. There's a um, shadow behind on that wall there where that pot is. Now the same way I'm looking for shadows, looking for darker areas where I think it needs to be, a it needs to have a little bit more value. So I'm starting off with the door here. Now let's um, look at the other areas where you need a little bit more value. So that's for this plant here, where there's a lot of shadow. I'm going to add a little bit more texture as well by adding this lazy stippling. So it's not like a huge block of colour, but it has some sort of texture of um, foliage on it. And then I need to add some texture, just mirroring the foliage, the shadows of the foliage here. So let's start off with ultramarine blue and permanent red. I'm going to add the same um, colour for some shadows on the Bogan Villa as well and that mixed with a tiny bit of mauve. If 
finally I'm going to get some pale bluish green Um, so I've kind of finished it about 90% or um, I could leave it at this stage but I just need to make a few more adjustments um, before I finish it off. So I'm going to go back into using my pen just adding a little bit more extra um, texture into this. Now for this cactus here, um, looking quite unfinished, so just going to add some outlining details. adding some texture there with some almost dry paint. And also some white gouache to have to just retain some white, just giving it some highlights, especially here. 